This video shows how to integrate the stack plugin using Maxima um, and GeoGebra um, applets in Moodle. So this is an example question. The points, the coordinates of the points A and B were generated from the stack plugin um, and were placed in the text. Um, and uh, it says that you have to uh, mark the middle between the point A and the point B. Um, now I generate the points that are given. Um, the point A is um, 1, 2, 1, 2, and the uh, point B has the coordinates 5, 4, 5, 4, that's correct. And um, the actual position of the point M is uh, 0 over 5 and 3 and now I move the point to the correct position between oops, between the two points it's uh, 3 3 and stack is interpreted, interpret, interpreting hmm? uh, analyzing this input and understands it as um, this, um, this uh, coordinates of the point and now I can prove if this is correct and I hope um, yes that's correct that's the right answer and now I show how to produce such an embedded applet um, from GeoGebra the da -da -da. in this tutorial I won't explain the stack stuff at the top. I only want to explain how to integrate the plugin, uh, the GeoGip applet. Um, first uh, row shows the coordinates uh, that were generated from stack. Um, this is the first variable, this is the second. This will be x and y from the first point. This will x be x and y from the second point. Um, this is only a command. Um, here I um, produce the point to um, click on and to generate the points in the into the GeoGebra applet. Um, the script tags are needed for the. Um, for the interaction and here is um, the first function um, Lade Seite so here I'm combining the function um, with the point uh, with the input uh, input, 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 input uh, from above. So when I click the button then the function uh, will start um, and here the I use the jQuery to get the information to get the information from above. So the variable x uh, then has the content a and the variable um, y1 has uh, the content of variable b and so on. Um, here the uh, point m is generated. Um, here um, an object uh, update listener um, is combined to this uh, point. So um, this function um, will start whenever the point is uh, updated or moved um, and um, I set the point to visible. Um, this is um, the point A. I set the point to visible and I fixed the point so that uh, the user cannot move it and the same for the point B. Uh, first generating the point, uh, set it to visible and make it not movable. So this is the function and um, 
here is the start when, when the document uh, is ready then this function is, um, is called. So uh, another function that is called um, um, is the update listener and it starts gets the coordinates. This is this function. Um, this function get coordinates. Um, the object is n and um, the applet is applet1 and uh, this is a function to get the coordinates of this object of this object so I get the x and the y component and I set the focus on the input um, input uh, area at the bottom of the page I enter the point and the coordinates as a text field and then the input file is um, uh, um, focused and the key is pressed so after this um, the maxima um, stack can use maxima to um, check the input so this now here is the applet uh, the GeoGebra applet. Um, it contains a base uh, 40, uh, 64 code from the applet. It's just an empty coordinate system. So don't care about this. This is just the applet with an empty coordinate system. And here are the um, fields at the bottom of the page. So I will look once again here in the question. These are the two fields at the bottom and um, here is the interpretation from Maxima. So that's the way how to integrate GeoGebra stack into Moodle using Maxima and stack and so on.